let's create a T slot milling tool path using Fusion 360. For that, I have an example here. In the design workspace, I copied the exact model and paste it below. And I just removed those slots actually for simulation purpose. So from this, we are moving to manufacturing workspace here. In this one, uh, first create the setup. So it is milling. So created uh, the workpiece at the center of the job. And uh, the model is the first one actually with uh, the groove or maybe then undercut. And in the stock, what I'm going to do is I'm selecting from solid and I'm using the second body, which is uh, no undercut in the model actually to see the simulation. So once it is completed, your setup is done. Now you are going to create a 2D contour tool path here. So you can select from milling tab under 2D, 2D contour. So I already created for you. So first select the tool. So in this one, you can able to select or maybe you can filter it uh, from your uh, metric library and you can filter also the uh, slot milling. So you can filter like that and you can select. But now I already having it here and I edited uh, also actually. So the second one, I select the contour here at the edge below and uh, the next one is the height, the clearance height I set up. So the top height is my the upper point of the slot and the bottom is this one actually. And in the fourth tab, you can select site compensation is left in this case. In computer is your compensation type. And uh, here, I'm selecting multiple finish passes, tick. And I want five passes with two mm as my step over actually. The last one, I uh, given the safe distance as five mm. And uh, I will let you know in the next one, how we are going to control the lips using this minimum step down. First, we will look at the tool path this one and in the entry one so i had selected uh, lead in and lead out as same 10 mm as my horizontal radius and 90 degree is my uh, lifts uh, or maybe you can say approach point if you create the tool path you can able to see that tool path is created like this so it starts from the inner point actually so you can see that from simulation, right click, go to simulate. And uh, here you can able to see the tool path starts. So if you simulate this one, so you can see it start from the uh, exact that uh, first point and it is just coming to the center and it is cutting like this actually. So you can see that as my stock is my the body I had selected without groove, I can able to see clearly how it is going to cut that thing. So now we had noticing here is the tool path is lifting for each passes actually. So you can see once the, the pass is completed, it is just coming and it simply lift there actually. So now we exit the simulation here, go back to the tool path under the last tab, you can able to find minimum uh, or you can say maximum stay, stay down distance. So what you have to do is you have to uh, find the distance between these two. So in this case, I'm giving a 200 mm and I'm recalculating the tool path. So now you can able to find there is uh, no multiple lifts, only an entry and exit. And now if you simulate the tool path, it is more efficient comparing to the previous one actually. So now you can see it start from the first one and without lifting, it is just moving in the same level and it is cutting the 
adjacent paths actually. Like that, you can able to complete the whole profile for a slot machining. Thank you.